guys. So for this video, we're going to be going over a hip flexor series. I'm going to be using the TheraBand, just tied it up into a loop. You can use the elastics of the gym, or if you have those mini loops or uh, Thera loops or mini bands, uh, there's a bunch of different names for them. You can use that as well. The color is going to depend a lot on your hip flexor strength. Uh, I came across uh, some of these variations, uh, uh, sorry, with uh, Barbell Physio. So definitely check them out. They have a lot of really great information. Uh, anyways, the variation is going to start without the band, and then you can kind of go to the band, and then there's a couple different ways we can progress uh, from there. So without the band, it's very similar to kind of a bicycle core exercise. You may have seen, right? Belly button is fine. Your leg is away from you, and then you're flexing the hip in, and then coming out. Yeah. So this would be the easiest version. If you're having a hard time with this, if you can't keep your belly button, or sorry, your lower back flat uh, against the mat, then just hang out here, right? You can do pauses in each position and just comfortably breathe while maintaining that lower back against the, uh, against the ground. Now, once that becomes easier, what we can do is we can add a band. So I'm just gonna take it, fold it over, so it's smaller, Place that around the feet. Now your muscles are going to be strong in an isometric contraction, so basically means there's a contraction without any movement. So uh, that's what we'll do first as a variation. The second one is going to be with movement. They're all going to be in the same position. The difference being if I start here or if I start here. So if I start with my knees close to me and I'm pushing away, I'm going to be putting a lot of resistance into this hip flexor that is up top. Right, so the one that's staying here, I'm putting a lot of resistance into that hip flexor. Yeah. Now in this position, again, it's going to be strong. So it can tolerate quite a bit. So you can do your reps this way. Now, once that gets easy, you can bring your feet away and then start pulling in. Yeah. So now the hip flexor is moving, which makes it quite a bit harder. As, uh, as you go through through the reps. Now, once that becomes easier, we can incorporate a bridge into that exercise. So for that, you can use a bench, or in my case, I'm just gonna use an elevated step. <coughs> if you're not quite sure what a bridge movement is, definitely check out the other videos I posted about it. Let's scoot a little bit closer. So from here, belly button spot again, squeeze the glutes, that's gonna lift you up off the ground. Now you're gonna keep that glute contracted as you're pulling that leg in. Now what you're going to notice is the leg that's stabilizing, so the one that is on the bench, is going to be doing a lot of work as that opposite hip flexor is pulling that opposite knee in. So you're creating kind of two opposing forces, not only from the band, because the band is going to be pulling, giving you a little extra resistance, but you're having to do a lot more work because one is keeping the hip elevated. So make sure you don't start feeling it through your lower back. So give that a shot and pick the resistance that's, or pick the level